All right, guys, a couple months ago, Ryan absolutely grenaded his quad, and ever since then, we've been basically four-wheelerless on the channel, so we decided to brush the dust off of CJ's old 450 in the back, got this thing going, and then we were like, well, if we have one quad, we should probably have two for a video. So then we picked up this YZF 450R. It's basically the race version of uh, CJ's over here, and then Evan said, I won't ride a four-wheeler unless it's a two-stroke. So we picked up a Banshee. So anyways, we went to the dark side and we're riding quads today. I can't wait to see Evan wheelie in this thing like a 12 o'clock boy that he is, the Banshee. You got the four wheeler shirt on today, so you should be. Yeah, this should help. <laughs> Mike's got one. You guys switch up way too easy. <laughs> and just like that, we're quad guys. <laughs> I had a feeling that Evan was gonna be an absolute natural on one of these things. How long till Evan breaks that thing? Dude, today, for sure. You think he's gonna break it? Yeah. Luckily, if Evan breaks it today, I mean, it's not ideal, but we are planning to soup that bitch up. That's gonna be his excuse. Yeah, don't let him hear that I said that. Being quad guys. I'm not gonna lie, quads are kind of fun sometimes, as long as no one finds out about it. <laughs> I don't even belong trying to wheelie this thing in first gear in the parking lot, dude. Well, let's go hit the streets. <laughs> I guess not. Are you thinking what I think you're thinking? It crossed my mind. Banshee rainbow rail? People grind rails on Banshees? Well, people don't do it in smart cars, and I did it in a smart car. In theory, this should be easier than on a pit bike. I think that if a Banshee can do it, a golf cart could do it. Uh, I'll shake on that, Ben. I'll hit it on the Banshee if you don't. Dude, I would honestly rather hit it on a Banshee. I, I yeah. haven't even rode that Banshee. We can do that too. I'll rip the cart. <laughs> would you? Would you want to do that? I'll jump it on the Banshee. You did it on the golf cart. Ah, uh, the camera didn't give me saying that, did it? Yeah, you did. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't do that. Oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. On a sketch. I thought you were gonna roll there. Yeah, Me too. I know. I'm feeling oh, yeah. those now. I don't want to do it again. <laughs> we're calling that one. All right, guys. Brief break in the video today to mention a word from our sponsor, Huel. If you guys are anything like us, it's hard to find time throughout the day to cook a meal. The issue with that is that we then become less productive because we're hungry, and then we resort to something quick and usually unhealthy, and then we gain weight, and then you guys make fun of us on the internet. Luckily, today's sponsor, Huel, is here to help us out with a quicker and healthier alternative to food on the go. Huel, human plus fuel is is a nutritionally complete plant-based meal in a convenient and affordable way. It provides you with all the carbohydrates, protein, fats, fiber, and all 27 essential micronutrients your body needs to thrive without any artificial sweeteners. Here in front of me, we have the Hewell Black Edition that comes in a bunch of flavors, peanut butter, salted caramel, cookies and cream, cinnamon roll. I think today I'm gonna have to go with the cookies and cream. It smells good. All right, I've got cold water up to this line on the Hewell shaker bottle. I'm gonna go ahead and put two scoops in, which gets me 400 calories, and one scoop gets you 200. 
So you really only have to shake this for about 20 seconds and then it's good to go. Also, this is 100% vegan, gluten-free, and is packing 40 grams of protein. That's good. So there you have it guys. It's cheap, it's easy, it tastes great, and it's great for you. Try it out for yourself by clicking the link in the description and building your own bundle. Plus, your first order, you'll get a free Huel t-shirt and a guide to get started. Thanks again, Huel, for being the sponsor of today's video. I'm sorry, baby, I don't mean to be rude. I'm just a little different from all these dudes. I'm Thank you. I think you've just worked your way up from pit bikes to literally everything. To quads. Yeah. <laughs> but like just this last summer. I think I'm ready for the gap. You can do it? I think so. Mike, you superstar, bro. Why does this gap seem so intimidating every time? This is a pretty big gap, especially for somebody who's been riding a quad for about 35 minutes at this point. Mike, all I got to say is I'm damn proud of you, bro. You haven't done it yet, but I'm proud of you for just trying. Dude, Mike's going for some Evil Knievel type of shit. Everything two golf carts two and golf two four-wheelers. Four. Jumping the whole fleet. Right. Oh, dude, buttered it. Attaboy. Beautiful, Mike. Is it even oh. anything? <laughs> no. Mike is definitely the best rider. Better than Ev? Definitely. I don't know if I agree with that one. Good job, Mike. Today was fun. Whoever's idea was to buy these four-wheeled units, smart. We need to build this thing. The carburetors were acting up. It was running like absolute crap. I think we can buff that out. But I think if we're gonna go that far, we might as well widen it, put some proper suspension on it, set this thing up to really rip a track. Then you're gonna hit the gap? Definitely, dude. Ev, I hate to say it, but I think you were riding better on the four stroke. Well, it's because it actually ran. Okay, <laughs> fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> For being this big banshee guy, that's all, but I guess, yeah, you're right. Fair enough. Mm. I just passed the torch, you know? One guy's gotta light two different lanterns with his torch, and that's what I did. The quad guys are spreading. Started on a quad, you ended on a golf cart. Well, I got kicked off my quad because I fucking suck. <laughs> Ken, what? yo, your wheels are here. Oh, nice. Why do I feel like this is a scam? This is a scam. How is this a scam? Because this is how you intro everything when you're trolling. So Ken ordered these wheels like how long ago? December. December, <laughs> and they haven't been in stock, but they finally came thanks to custom offsets. Get a fresh set of wheels, huh? Nice, good joke. I knew it was a scam. <laughs> oh, oh my god! Dude, those are the ones that you ended up going with? No. They said they have purple hearts on them. I see why it took so long to come. You're deep Dude, dish. those are so <laughs> sick. You waited like eight Honestly, months for these. Ken, I wouldn't have gone with the pink, but uh, I, did. I didn't go with the pink. <laughs> these are actually fire, bro. No, they're not. Yeah, they, yeah are. they are. I hate chrome. I also hate pink. Then why would you get chrome and <laughs> I pink? I didn't. I can't believe you waited nine months for these. They're probably custom. <laughs> might as well sell the car. <laughs> you sell the car? I might as well. Oh, this is good. That looks like more what I ordered. Are you gonna still sell the car? Probably not. <laughs> I picked the wrong one. All right, so since we got the wheels and lift, can't really do anything anymore, so I had to call up my buddy Scott from Red River, put everything on, so. 
not ideal, but. <laughs> it's gonna be like a GTA build. You pull your Bronco in, you pull it out, and it's like a whole new car. Just have to pay for it now <laughs> instead of doing it myself. How big are you going, Ken? Whatever uh, Custom Offset sent me. I think it's like a three, four, seven. Point five. Oh, no. Doing half an inch lift. Okay, so right after Ken dropped his Bronco off, Scott called him and said, dude, this lift isn't gonna fit. So it's not gonna fit his trim package. Ironically, it fits mine. And I've been waiting for my lift forever, so I'm just gonna put that on. And Ken ordered a new one, he's gonna put that on. We're gonna build two Broncos in one video. I got my wheels and tires for it. Scott's gonna pick it up and cut to that. All right, I'm excited to see this. Dude, me too. <laughs> Nervous. <laughs> nice. Dude, I think mine's taller, Ken. Look at you too. <laughs> You're squatting? Is it? Dude, I, yeah, I come out, it's just Carolina, dude. That would be a good prank, actually. Well, we do have your fold wheels in the back, so there's a little bit more weight back there. It's like perfect size, not too big. Loving it, dude. You're able to get your spare to fit. Yeah, it doesn't the wrong size. Darn, the, the ugly spare didn't fit. We'll see if Ken's now into the modifying game. It's a slippery slope. Once you uh, get a taste of buying parts, getting wheels, maybe lowering it, lifting it. It's pretty addicting. Ken has just stayed far away from it. We'll see if any of his other vehicles follow. Ooh. All right, this is tough. This is tough seeing them next to each other like this on the light. I might have to go with you, Mike. Yeah, dude. Also, just comment down below which one you think's cooler, because we want to know. Uh. I heard they checking for me, no one checking on me, so I had to go run up a check. I got the message on me, ain't no flexing on me, my attorney gon' call and collect. Blessings on blessings for me, my successes only made them envious, they got upset. I had to put all their egos in check. Watch out, Mike! Oh, bro! Bro, you just ran the quad move, bro! Frick, Mike! Idiot, bro. Mike! Mike! Oh! <laughs> you ran? I was like, what are you doing? And then you just <laughs> ran it over. I literally drove it over? Yeah, you fing ran it over the wheel. Yeah, you definitely yeah, bent that wheel, Mike. I was like, what are you hey, doing, dog? Okay, this is what happens when you have a lifted Bronco, bro. You, you can run over things. I can't see anything, bro. It's a fing baby I lift. What do you mean? You did get a little extra camber in this. But Dude, I think it's fine. Normally, when you back up, you like look. Behind I was looking. Guess what I was trying to look for? Two hooligans on golf carts flying in if here. Ken would have done that. It would have been a pretty valid excuse, being that yeah, he can't honestly. turn his head. Mike, no, excuse not a good, not a good look, buddy. You are so bent. God damn it, dude. Dude, I think today is gonna be destructive. Yeah, this isn't looking good for us off-roading. It's okay. After this, Ken's off-roading with a broken neck. This guy is crazy. I think somebody's gonna have to step in for Ken. But he wants to send it. I don't think he wants to at all. I think he's waiting for anybody. Literally somebody driving by could be like, hey, I'll drive and Ken would throw him the keys. Oh, <laughs> That's pretty weak. <laughs> he's got a broken neck, bro. <laughs> you hit the gas pedal. You break it, you buy it. You actually want me to drive this thing? You break it, you buy it. I thought you were kidding. All right, Ab, this is your moment to shine since you kind of blew it last video. <laughs> All I do is mess up. I don't even know what I'm doing here. <laughs> yeah, we almost had to take Evan's Raptor back because the last video didn't do too well. It, it was kind of a flop. Just because it's lifted, what, does that change any of like the jumping capabilities or do those usually stay the same? <laughs> if he jumps it, I will fucking slit his throat. Really? Yes. Do you think he could jump? anything anything can jump and it's just a game of angles and speed <laughs> that's true dude you jumped the shit out of the truck last week yeah i don't want to do that jump in this <laughs> just don't break it i haven't broke anything in seven days so either i'm you on you haven't a good... broke anything in 24 hours evan well, i'm on a good run we put a lift on this and now we take it on a pit bike track like, <laughs> where's the logic here? <laughs> yeah! Oh!
What happened? Yeah, did it. <laughs> Can't help yourself, can you? <laughs> well, that's nothing. Yeah. Like summer and some dipping dots, jackpot sound coming at you through a different slot. You can try to look at the end of the from a little shot. Ooh, yeah. Oh, baby, it's my season. Straight up out the water, I'm so well, I'm artesian. Girl in my DM. Every time suspicion hits you, ask about it. Whatever, whatever. <laughs> I closed my eyes when I hit the first tree and then I was upside down. Dude. Bro, this tree wasn't budging. No, that one was strong. Run the bush. That's a different one. Did you want to get it if you studied it for weekends? I'm going to put a box. Wait, 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 Dude, I love these golf carts so much. If I don't get the recognition now, that's okay because my hustle real strong. I could ball like the ball, club pack, water wall, 